now on a roll uh, gloomy grove recapping expedition 2 with a bonus type of fire uh, expedition 2 level 1 requires a team total of 1000 um, I'm way above that I'm only using my two Pokemon at the moment so let's go ahead and get straight into this gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did with expedition 1 have this on auto grind and the main reason why I'm recapping these dungeons is uh, make new videos out of them so you guys can see what type of Pokemon and what to experience and what to expect uh, when you go ahead and adventure into these levels yourself and also for me to go ahead and um, get some at the moment because these are uh, one of the beginning expeditions Get some easy XP for Pikachu. Flareon just out levels this way too big. And also, uh, cooking materials are huge for me right now. Because I need to do a lot of cooking in order to get um, some bear Pokemon uh, to go ahead and uh, evolve, level up, train, you name it, you got it. Uh, my Pokemon that are currently on my team. Currently on my Pokemon that I currently have for my main team. Flareon, Alakazam, and Cloyster are already fully evolved, but leveling them up and also uh, move training is a uh, major key right now for me to go ahead and get through the expeditions that I'm currently stuck on. So this is Expedition 2, Level 1. We will be compl completing all levels within this video. Uh, for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in to YouTube.com slash for the Winitachi, where we live stream seven nights a week. We also upload seven days a week. So we got a Gloom to take care of as well as three to four Oddish. I think I saw an extra Oddish here. Uh, okay, just the three Oddish. Okay, so three Oddish and a Gloom to go ahead and take care of here on uh, this level. Not too difficult at all, especially me having a Flareon who is also a fire type that absolutely demolishes my opponents. I'm waiting. I'm waiting so hard right now just to say boom. Finally, thank you. I was like, what the hell is taking so long, Florian? But so we got through that level. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Uh, eight cooking regions, which is great. And also we'll get some additionals from uh, the gems that we are currently collecting. Yes, I do know they're called stones. Expedition 2, level 2, 1200 total is the requirement. It's not really a requirement. It's just a recommendation to go ahead and get into this one. But then again... I do got Flareon with me, so this is real cakewalk, not because of its level, mainly because my Flareon is, well, I mean, my Flareon, no, all Flareons are fire types. Whoa, did you just, whoa, did you guys just see Flareon, I don't even know what that was, it tried to bite one of the Paris, but it, it, it missed terribly. And it's also leaving my uh, Pikachu to just go ahead and uh, take some L's against his Execute. I think these Executes, are these the ones that explode? Is it this level where they start doing exploding in mechanics that you have to actually play around? No, it is not. Okay, these are just regular Execute that attack. Oh, wait, no, they do. Wait, no, they don't. I don't even know what's going on anymore, fam. Usually you can tell when they use Explosion, uh, that white square that was kind of flashing around a Pokemon, but it looked like it was flashing around Pikachu. Um, it should be flashing around the Execute itself. One of these expeditions, you'll start to notice a lot of Pokemon do use Explosion or Self-Destruct. Um, I'm assuming it's Explosion because these are Execute. And uh, they do bear damage, fam. Bear. The damage is uncontrollable. Alright, so we're fighting some Spearows now, so this should be Cakewalk here, uh, especially with Pikachu. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't even notice Pikachu's health, but that that's that was bad. Please, I was about to say, please don't use Flamethrower because you just sit there and don't do anything. Just just kill it. Thank you. That's all you have to do. Auto attack, fam. <laughs> just auto attack and we win so quickly. Alright, let's go ahead and see the boss mode of Expedition 2 level 2. I, I, I could have thought of that. Executor, of course. Oh, I think that's an explosion. Oh, no, that's... Whoa, was that... Is that Egg Bomb? No way. Did they have Egg Bomb in... Did they have Egg Bomb in Generation 1? I don't remember. But the stage has been cleared. The level has been cleared. So let's go ahead and move on into the next one. 
cooking reagents, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus the stone. That will give us some more. Expedition 2, level 3. Uh, 1,500 is the requirement. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be cake. What's cool about actually coming back to these old expeditions is just being able to do them again. I mean, I love this game so much. I haven't really been able to... I don't know. I haven't... I just don't... What, what, what am I... What's the word I'm trying to say? It's just like... It's nostalgic, but I mean, it's not like I've... This game's old or anything. It's kind of new, to be honest. It's only a couple months, but... Just being able to do these again for like one last time, because I'm probably never going to do these expeditions ever again. Um, maybe in the future if there's a reason to, or for like an achievement or something, but... Other than that, this is the last time I'm uh, recapping old expeditions. Only reason why I'm recapping them now is because uh, for easy video footage, uh, for easy like little video guides for you guys to go ahead and watch, uh, so you guys can pre-experience the experience before you actually take on that experience, and um, so you guys can see what's up. And that's pretty much it. Also, the main reason why I'm here is cooking agents. I'm in dire need. My Pikachu's about to take a L. Unless they come in with a flamethrower, but uh, I got hiccups and it's on cooldown, so. There's the flamethrower. Oh, actually, we got through it. Please, please. Oh, Pikachu. Lucky. More Oddish. So, th the terribleness about this many Oddish is that my flamethrowing. Flareon is stupid and decides to go the opposite way, so Pikachu's now dead. Got gangbanged by five, four Oddish. Actually, in that situation, it was a total of five in the beginning, but ended up being four. Do you, you want to just, like, I was about to say, do you want to just, like, tilt to the left a little bit? Okay, so thank God it's only Flareon now against these five, six Oddish. Because it's just auto attack for life. Just don't use Flamethrower, please. Thank you. You do, like, 3,300 damage, fam. With auto attack. If you... Pikachu, what what are you doing? You better finish that up yourself, Pikachu. I was going to say, you better not be relying on Flareon now. So we're facing off against uh, Weeping Bell and its army of Bell Sprouts. These were actually probably one of the most OP Pokemon in Generation 2. Bell Sprout Tower fam. They helped out so, so much. But it's like a Pokemon that they put in a situation... That they knew no one wanted a bell sprout, but you kind of needed it if you wanted to really like cakewalk through the game. I never caught one because it was Gen One, and that's just not how I play gen new generations. Ooh, almost leveled up Pikachu, sweet. Expedition Two, level four. That seventeen hundo fam. That seventeen hundo. This should level up my Pikachu. For those of you that are tuning in live, you just saw what I did. Um, just wasted all of my cooking regions on my next cooking. So that kind of sucks for me. Now I still got to farm up cooking regions again because now I recently just ran out and got zero. I got a bunch of like rainbows, but other than that, uh, other than the rainbow regions, I don't got anything. No reds, no blues, no yellows. Small and large. Kind of on the down low on all of it right now. I'm spamming silver or 15 co uh, cooking pots right now. I was going to say crock pots, but... I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Pikachu already dead. I mean, this is like Pikachu's level then. Like, Expedition 2 boss is like Pikachu's perfect level if it had a team. Like, that's where Pikachu would start to... It would, it would, ooh, nice. It would clear uh, Expedition 2, Pikachu, with a team around its level, but it would struggle to do so. I'd have to actually play it and not have it on autoplay. So that's good to know. Pikachu's about starting Expedition 3 type Pokemon right now. So it's got a long way to go for it to even get anywhere near my team, which is why, another reason why I'm also doing these re-levels right now. Ooh, Paris, set them army of three Paris. Like this, okay, now, talking about Weeping Bell and Bell Sprouts and Victory Bells, so mainly talking about Bell Sprouts from Bell Sprout Tower in Generation 2. 
in Generation 1, Paris, Parasite, but Paris mainly, in uh, Mount Moon, that was like the rare Pokemon that you would find back in the day, the coolest Pokemon that you'd probably find. You'd be like, whoa, a Paris, what the hell was that? Because it looks so different and cool compared to the other Pokemon. But until you watch the anime and actually what a Paris is, you notice how lean that Pokemon was and it makes you not want it. That, that's what I felt. Yay, level 22. Congratulations. Oh, wait, what? No, wait. No. D don't tell me it loses its move. I want it to evolve, but don't. T please don't lose your moves. Please keep surf. Please. I'm going to be fucking pissed off if it... Because I spent money on that Pikachu. Well, no, I didn't. I got... A clue. Expedition 2. Boss mode. 2100. Final level. We just evolved Pikachu into a Raichu, so let's go ahead and do this. I want to see what Raichu looks like in this game. Big chubby little chubby dude. Oh, damn, it actually stands up. I mean, it makes sense, but I prefer Raichu when it's on the move to be on fours, but okay. That actually looks so... F oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I'm actually happy. So, like, the four Pokemon... I have a lot of Pokemon right now. I have like probably, not a lot, but like 10. But four of them I'm actually keeping. Three of them are on my team. And one is an ultra rare that you can't get in the game. The current team that I have is Flareon, Koyster, and Alakazam. Koyster's a tank, Alakazam, DPS, Flareon, just because I absolutely love Eevee. And Flareon's my favorite Gen 1 Eevee Lucian. And I also have this Raichu now that evolved from uh, Surfing Pikachu, which is... 72 hour ultra rare you can't get it unless you buy it for $1.99 plus all these other cool goodies in the game Which I did buy with a coupon so it wasn't my money I might as well take it and I'm happy about it, but now it's a surfing Raichu like that's ultra uber mega rare Like you'll never see that I'm super shocked it's super cool I'm super cool. I mean it's super cool Alright, so, cool. We can get to the uh, the boss of Expedition 2. <clears throat> Raichu's actually staying alive. Oh, Butterfree. That actually looks really nice. Um, it's actually really huge, too. But, um, Raichu's actually surviving pretty well compared to earlier stages. So, I think Raichu, I mean, it's definitely not going to live. But, Raichu's probably, I said, early Expedition 3 level Pokemon right now. I probably say Raichu is mid Expedition 3 just because it evolved. It probably gains a couple levels in Expedition 3. But uh, Flareon's about to uh, absolutely smash this Butterfree for me. If it c gets closer. What the hell? What, what is going on? What? No, what is. What? What is going on? I'm so confused. I'm absolutely confused. I'm confizzled right now, fam. I got bare cooking reagents, but I'm still from Fizzled. But that's Expedition 2, fam. Gloomy Grove. Just catch you guys in Expedition 3.